Hello my hotties, welcome back to another video. I'm Cheryl. And I'm Shyla. And, and we're, we're back. Hey guys. How you guys doing? Good so, morning. Yep. Good afternoon. <laughs> so we are out and about. And you want to tell them what we got Breakfast tonight? sandwiches, y'all. New York style bacon, egg, and cheese. Okay, period. That's how we say it in New York. <laughs> bacon, <laughs> egg, and cheese is one word. But we got, on mine, we both got bacon, egg, and cheese. But I got double the bacon, one egg. I got hot sauce and ketchup and pepper on it. And you got... I have the same with two eggs, bacon, ba two eggs, bacon, egg, and, egg, and cheese. Mm -hmm. Eggs, um... Most of the time, guys, out here, we barely get it scrambled, but some people do, but we mostly get it um, over eats, I guess they say, mm -hmm. right? All right, so we're gonna say, um, we're gonna say our grace when we get in. Yeah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for this food and bless the hands prepared it. Thank you, God, for everything you have done. Bless me and my family, God, and look over my subscribers and their family. Lord, I thank you for everything. Amen. 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 Our sandwiches are a little cold, cause we picked them up, y'all, but we did some running around yeah, to the stores. Yeah, so. the five below and all of that. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh. And we got the diet ginger ale. We drink. This is so really good. You got ketchup on yours too, right? Yeah, I got ketchup and hot sauce, y'all. So good. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't know how much I'll be able to eat and chew because I think I brushed my teeth too hard. I have this new electric toothbrush, and I, I really been going in with it every day. You know, really like deep cleaning my teeth, but so kind of like made my gums like tender. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm. Did the towel no help? A little? Kind of. Mm. So how's everybody doing? What's up? What's going on? I know it's been a minute. Well, since we dropped the video, well, mm -hmm. you've been on mm -hmm. up here, but happy to see you guys. I'm back. Yes. Everyone was, ooh, everyone was asking about, yeah, I was asking about her. It's been like, what, two days? So finally. <laughs> maybe three, right? Maybe three. I'm just doing a little other things, God, just, um, not sometimes. You got to take care of outside business and. Got a lot of little other things going on, so I was just handling business, that's all. Yeah. But I ain't forget about you guys. <laughs> so what are you guys up to? What's today? Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Um, Wednesday, huh? Hump day. My eyes look a little runny, too. I don't know. It's like my allergies acting up this morning. <laughs> Y'all probably said it's a whole lot going on with us. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, anyway. <clears throat> we had a funny topic, guys, to bring up. What would be a perfect date night for you? Mm. Like... If you met someone and they want to take you on a date, if they want to take you like to a McDonald's or Burger King or something like that, would that be a cheap date night to you? Or, you know, sometimes it really doesn't matter as long as you got the company. Mm -hmm. But I can, what you think, Sha? What, what, and I'm going to give you a guide, there's a story behind this. I mean, it really. 
I'm not like uh some girls are like really some people in general are like no my first day it gotta be fancy you you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that tells a lot about no like I'm the type that it don't take much to please me as long as our company we have each other's company and you know we have a good conversation mm -hmm. it really don't matter where the date is it could be on the park it mm -hmm. could be at McDonald's Wendy's anywhere as long as we're together and a date to me is having a great time with the significant other that you're on a date with right. you know that's a date to me so and if you're out doing too much you're not really going to get to know exactly them. you know all you're focused on is the glitz and the glamour that they mm -hmm. are true to you too mm -hmm. instead of getting to know them as a person and also i think too like that tells a lot about a female because from a guy's perspective you know because it's like okay so you're only with me to try to like Mm -hmm. go after what I got if you just want you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that's true remember I was telling you about the story when I first met your dad mm -hmm. when I first met my husband we actually our first date was at McDonald's and I guess it's because he actually had a taste to it <laughs> but it didn't really bother me you know what I'm saying it really didn't mm -hmm. it was just the company and we talking, mm -hmm. getting on, getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. That was really nice to me. And and I don't know. Like, I'm not really choicy like that. Even if you want to go to the beach mm -hmm. and sit in the car, and that's fine with me too. I don't have to go out to a five star exactly. restaurant. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. You know. Guys, comment down below. What is your? What would be a perfect date night to you guys? You know, when you first met your husband or you guys still go out on dates, you know, whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. What is a perfect date night? And another thing, too, if you met a guy or a girl, just for the male and the females, if you met someone and you know when you're out eating <laughs> in the restaurant and they might say, oh, they forgot their wallet. Oh, God. What would you do? Mm -mm. Like if he said, oh my God, now you guys done finish eating and everything. I will say, well, you going to do what you going to do with your tab and I'm paying for my food. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I am. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to be like, well, I got my food covered. I don't know what you going to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because it's like, I don't know. It's it, That almost seems intentional. Like you're trying to test Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, mm. guys, what you think? If you now, if it's a genuine situation where he really couldn't pay for for it, right. I would, I, you know, right, you know, but <laughs> imagine first date over, over my wallet. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> now, on the first date, would you be comfortable with um? Him paying for you, or will you personally just rather like split the bill? Split the bill. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah. What would you do, guys? Would you please comment down below? Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> with that, like, you never want to. Because a lot of people, I think, they go in there with the intentions of just getting paid, everything paid for. I'm personally personally not like that. Like, I like to have my own money or any with anything. Even if you're hanging out with friends, anything, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. you never know what comes up. You never know how the person, I don't know. Like, you mm -hmm, just never know what the mm -hmm, situation will be. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. you know, but you want to split this? I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm, so, that's like, all right, mm -hmm. here you go. <laughs> like, right. You know? Right, right, right. Mm hmm. I just don't like to put myself in those situations where I feel mm -hmm, crippled mm -hmm, mm -hmm, not being able mm -hmm. to do nothing. Right, because you're not going to have nothing over my head. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But no. Mm hmm. If he insists, then okay, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Mm-hmm. But I never would go out on a date or never have without having my own money. You know, some women, men and women, a lot of people do that. And it's each his own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But me personally. Because some mm -mm. guys, too, just feel like they just be the provider. They should pay for everything. Like, some guys. Right. I guess, what do you call it? Alpha, alpha males. They just feel like the woman should just. You know, mm -hmm. not have to worry about all that. Mm -hmm, they should mm -hmm. just, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, that's another thing too. I didn't say about like when guys want you to be submissive and just want you to like like submissive overall, like just let them be head of the household and you just hold down like you hold down the household but they the breadwinner and they just want you to stay home with the kids oh, or no. I'm right. definitely not with that one. <laughs> they don't or even not just stay home with the kids, they don't really want you to work. You just enjoy yourself, take care of the children. But you know what? To me it's a lot of guys like that. It is, but I think is is it's gonna be some consequences with that. Because first of all, if you stay home, how are you even obtaining your own me personally? social life? And not only that. Your own income? Your own income mm-hmm. as far as keeping up with your nails, your hair. Mm-hmm. You know, certain things that us women like to do for ourselves as women. And you don't want to constantly go to a man and have to ask him to provide that for you. Mm-hmm. Because you're home being, I guess, a housewife. Yeah, nothing against people who do that. Because right. some women is okay with doing mm-hmm. that. Like, for instance, if you guys watch Married to Medicine, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all do. It's this one girl, a woman up there, um, Toya. And her husband, he's a doctor. And the one with the real big mm-hmm, nice house mm-hmm, she's mm-hmm. like that and like you know she when they want to have a party it's fifteen thousand dollars oh babe it's fifteen thousand and mm-hmm. oh you pay he just said he said this is our house but i'm just paying for the mortgage but you just put your thought into the decoration oh that was the one that had the camel at her party yeah and like mm-hmm. some women it's just like that and they're comfortable with being like that and i guess if that's y'all it's agreement not, and y'all arrangement in marriage it. i mean but to me, I like to be more independent. Me too. Me you know too. what I'm saying? That's I couldn't do that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I guess because my mom taught me to be independent and it's rubbing off for me. I'm teaching you exactly. as a young woman to just be more independent I love yourself. to have my own. Like, Definitely. Even if when I move into my own apartment or anything. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to have to move. I don't want to move in with a man. Like, mm-hmm. I just always said that. Like, I just want to be on my own, have my own. So, if exactly. you do meet someone, mm-hmm. y'all both got your own assets apart. Mm-hmm. And even if y'all mm-hmm. have some together, y'all split that. But we also have our own when we go our separate mm-hmm. ways. If we, if we do, you know. That's true because you know what? When if anything ever happened, you know what? I'm grabbing up everything from you. This month. This, this month, month. This month. This, this month. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. no. Nope. Always hold your own. Yep. To For all real. the young girls out there, hold your own. Yep. Period. Always. Yep. There's nothing wrong with you guys doing what you do together either in life, too. If that's, that's, you know, fine. That's, that's fine. But always have something that you can call your fall own. Fall back on, yeah. yeah. For real, for real. But, yeah. It's just crazy. Especially now in these days. Every, did you hear about the, um, oh my gosh, Shyla. Did you hear about the guy that killed his girlfriend for the stem? That's that sad. Went, I, not killed his girlfriend, he killed her family. Yeah, maybe he was reading me the article. Yeah, yeah. God, you guys hear about that in Indianapolis? He killed her mother. That's sick. Her aunt, her daughter, her little daughter that wasn't his, oh. that was seven years old, all over because he just came out of prison and killed her over her stimulus money. Oh, God. Yeah. He, and he did nothing for the kids. That's she was crazy. a she was raising the kids, a single mom. She deserved that money. Yeah. What gave him the right to think that he could come around, just got out of prison, and he just went point blank crazy and killed like four of her family members. Wow. All because and she even offered him she was like, Well, I'll give you four hundred and fifty dollars. That wasn't even good enough for him. First of all, you don't even take care of the kids. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. he didn't kill his kid that he had for her. But he killed, like, I guess, consider his stepkids. The mm-hmm. kid outside mm-hmm. them. Seven That's years sad. old, he killed her daughter. Killed her daughter, her mother, and I think her aunt. It was, That's just we sad. Gotta, yeah, people got to do better. Like, it was all over a stimulus check. Like, like, it's not that serious. It's not even that serious to kill people and kill... It's really not that serious. Like you, first of the all, thing you, is you with a whole that, grown man. Go out and get a the job. Thing, right. The thing is with that, you made your choice on where you wanted your life to be. You were the one that went to prison. You the one that you know went to prison, got out, and wanted to be a bum or whatever. They said he was lazy. See, like that's up to nobody made you do her that. Her brother said what are you he was so very angry lazy. for exactly. And could you imagine her brother came home and found his whole family on in the house? That's sad. Just gone. From some lazy person 
no ambitious. Mm -hmm. You know? Guys, I don't know. My heart just hurt for that. So, all right, guys. Well, we're going to end this video. I'm glad you guys joined us. I'm glad to be back talking to you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. No, day, I should day. say. <laughs> God, I'm rushing today, right? <laughs> but anyway, enjoy. Yes. And um, we right now, we out and about running little errands. And then we're going to um, head, on home. head on back home. So, with that being said, guys, we're going to end this video. But we love you guys. We love you guys. Always stay blessed. Yes. And never, never stress. stress. And thank you to the ones who support our channel. We love, love, love you. And continue to just interact with us and talk to us. And Definitely, yeah. guys. Comment down below. I read all the comments, but them bad ones got to go. <laughs> yeah, period. <laughs> so, we love you, 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 you. Mm, and Bye. you. Bye, guys.